the world is trying frantically to doing things in order to achieve peace and the more they try frantically the more there is no peace because they're trying to find and establish peace outside of the king of peace God revealed in the flesh his name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah they sign millions of peace treaties and there is no peace by the way pray for the Israelis and the Palestinians and I will say our beloved Israelis and Palestinians yes our beloved we pray for them what are you fighting for to our beloved Jews and Palestinians with all love and respect your problem is one thing One of you says, Abraham offered Isaac. The other one says, Abraham offered Ishmael. But until the day that comes, both of you accept, acknowledge, confess and profess that it was Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, who was offered on Mount Moriah, there will never be peace. Never. For it is only when God is ruling over our lives, then and then only we shall live in that peace because peace is made possible by Jesus Christ of Nazareth, no other human being, period, period. Only God made peace possible by giving His beloved Son as the sacrificial Lamb of God for the salvation and the redemption of the entire world. Until we accept Jesus Christ of Nazareth, there is and will never be peace. And who is the ruler of this world? Satan. What peace? Satan gives you peace? Are you serious? We're fighting over land. This is my land. The other one says, no, it is my land. I was here before you. The other one says, but no, my God gave it to me after you. And we keep on fighting on the earthly Jerusalem. But the earthly Jerusalem is only temporary. Until you inherit the heavenly Jerusalem, there is no peace. You chase this world, you're asking for trouble. You chase materialism, you're asking for trouble. Because the more you chase this world, the more Satan will devour you. That's why there is no peace.